Hello, everybody. How's it going? My name is Klaus. This is my house, and we're back here today with some more Valkyria Chronicles. And we're going to wrap up Chapter 17, head straight into Chapter 18. So let's go for it. The Capital Falls. Gotta have my coffee, of course. All right. We've broken through Vassal. We're in striking distance of Rangri's now. Whoa, Alicia. We want them to not be... Wilkin. Why would we strike I'm afraid it? I've got some bad news. The Marmota reached the gates at Rangri's. It plowed through them and into the castle. No, we're too uh, late. These bastards. Say what? Finale, Shadow of the Valkyrie. Ugh, it's almost over, ladies and gentlemen. It's almost over. Oh uh, man. Uh, well, we still have at least one skirmish after this, so one battle left. Two, two battles. I'm not sure. Anyways, let's let's not dilly dally too much. The real Cordelia. She comes to the stream every Sunday. That's who the real Cordelia is. Hmm, coffee's so good. I mean, that's pretty badass. Your Highness honors me with an audience. I offer my thanks. We, Maximilian, stand humbly before you. Your Highness. You must allow me to apologize for the somewhat brutish manner of my entrance to your domains. We'd expect no less from Europa's premier commander, the great Maximilian, to cross our sovereign border with such lightning speed. Your tactics are admirable. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you are the one they call Borg. You attempt to ally yourself with the Federation. Then you turn over a new leaf and become the Empire's informant. Mother, it is all to ensure that Gallia remain a stable nation, of course. Ours is a small land, as you know. Our fate is made secure by such agreements. The sovereign state of Gallia will accept unconditional surrender and become a vassal state to your empire. In return, by our treaty, and your grace's favor, I, your humble servant Borg, will rule Gallia in your stead. <laughs> I'm afraid you're mistaken. What use could we possibly have for Gallia as a vassal state? We, Maximilian, shall be the one to assume the Archduchy. And then, Gallia shall be made anew under us. But... but we agreed. Then as sole master of this palace, we shall wake the lance that lies resting within its walls. Valkov, the key to ruling all Europa. <gasps> the lance? How could you know? My dear princess, Cordelia, you shall serve as our bride. The Valkyrian like bloodline, legacy of the great House Rongris, would be a fitting dowry for us, King of Europa. The Valkyrian bloodline? I see. You wish to ransom Europa with its power. Indeed. The reverence and respect the people of this continent hold for that ancient blood is undiminished to this day. Well then, I hate to disappoint you, but this is the true face oh, of House Ron Grief. Your Highness, what are you doing? Yep. As you can see, my blood is not Valkyrian. It is Darkson. Princess, what is the meaning of this? Yo, some things just got a flippy flappy on their head. <laughs> 
Thousands of years past, the Valkyrie invaded from the north to lay claim to Europa. The indigenous people, the Darkson tribes, fought them for control of this land. But the powers of Ragnite they possessed were too great. The Darkson cities were burned. The struggle continued, though its conclusion was clear. Ultimately, one influential clan among the Darkson tribes defected to the Valkyrie side. The Darkson were defeated and quickly became slaves to the Valkyrie. And victorious, the Valkyrie authored history to blame Darksons for scorching the earth. Of course. Then the descendants of that clan of treacherous Darksons lived on as... Yes, as House Rondgris, the Archdukes of Gallia. In return for their betrayal, the Valkyrie established them as the rulers of Gallia. We donned the identity of our masters and were complicit in the Darksen slander. With a perfect scapegoat, the people wow. quickly acquiesced to new rule. A common tale. A common tale that has caused me much grief. To face my people deceptively has pained me. Until the day came that I ran from that pain, trading my free will for comfort. Were it not for a single officer's words, I would no doubt still be lost in that conceit. Yo. Shit's heavy. I am bound by neither fate nor duty to obey the false blood within me. I live by my own will. I live for the sake of Gallia and its people. This, and this alone, is my calling. All the more reason to be my bride. No. For the sake of my people, I shall see you dead! <laughs> <laughs> what delightful barbarism. Do all Gallian brides share your lust for blood? <laughs> Jeez, if man. you desire safety for your people, it would behoove you to obey me, Highness. The Valkov is in my possession. To see your homeland burn again, that would be a shame. Jeez. These people are a bunch of hoof heads. Alright, I suppose let's, uh, let's get it going. Are there no battles in this one? There's gotta be. Maybe it's like two two chapters long or whatever. Let's look at this jailbreak. Does that mean Faldio's getting out? Like, we need you, Faldio. Go shoot Alicia again. Has something happened? What's all the commotion? It's them. The Imperial Army invaded Rangris. What? Audio. I can't they believe crashed it. through the city walls with a huge tank and drove it into the castle. And now they're doing some kind of work on the tank still half stuck into the castle. Work on that? Did they learn of the Valkov's location? No. I can't afford to wait around here. Sorry, but... <laughs> my... my chest... It's tight. It hurts. Hmm? What? What's wrong? My... my heart! I... Help! Help me! Are you alright? Uh, hey! Talk to me! I'm sorry. Fuck! <laughs> Let go of... <sighs> Forgive me. I've got to get to Rangris. I just hope I'm in time. Oh, Faldio. 
guess I'm not surprised. Let's do some final preps. See what this is all about. This might just might be a zero battle. Hey, I don't know. We'll see. Lots of story to cover. That's for damn We're sure. drawing close to Rangrees now. As for our plan of attack, once we arrive, focus your attacks on the spot damaged by Sergeant Melkiot in the previous battle. Fair enough. Exploit that, gain access to the interior, and destroy the Dreadnought's engine. Follow? Yes. Yes, Captain. I'm confident you can do this, soldiers. Who's this random dude? You are dude? dismissed. <laughs> one, one random guy. Quite a hey, risky operation. Mm-hmm. I know. I'm worried about morale if everyone feels like it's a suicide mission. Oh, it kind of is. We're used to your crazy missions by now, aren't we, guys? <laughs> guys? Yeah, you bet. <sighs> Nothing bothers me anymore now. And it helps to know that if we can just win this one, our war will be over. We'll do it for Isara and all the other friends we lost along the way. And for all of Galia's people. One more victory, and they'll have peace. Words fail me. Thank you. No problem, Captain All Bro. right. Everybody, get ready to deploy. Almost showtime, huh, Welkin? Mm-hmm. Militia rides into Rand Gris showdown. Mind if I put you all story on the radio? <laughs> I'm afraid I can't go help you fight. I'd like to do what I can to stand by you, as ace journalist Irene Ellett. Okay, why not? Our activities are hardly a secret to the Empire at this point. Mm-hmm. Irene Ellett, huh? I can't remember ever hearing your full name like that. At least until the war ends and I get married. Then I'll be Irene Kohler, just FYI. Hmm. <laughs> This'll be my last big assignment as an Ellet. <sighs> Time to do the old name proud. Indeed. Alrighty. Let's go look at Stowaway. See what that's all about. I'm, little, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm a little worried about the battles ahead. Give me a status report on affixing the lance. Work should be complete shortly, followed by final testing, sir. Good. Keep it moving along, soldier. Yes, sir. I knew it. They came to the capital to get at the Valkov. Bastards. You won't have it. I feel like Faldio could maybe like inform someone a little bit better. Um, I'm worried that this is going to pop us into a battle at any point. I mean, it doesn't look like it, um, but I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe the first page is just all, all story. I mean, it's, it's possible. Or I say things are, there's just every little one of these skits is, is building it and now, building it. your highness, affix your signature to this treaty of marriage. Never. You have no choice if you wish to keep your people safe. <clears throat> your Grace, sir! Be silent. This treaty seals our victory. Sir, the Gallians have broken through the vassal defenses. General Jaeger is defeated. Now the militia is headed here to Rangris even as we speak. What? GBS, your source for the news. The Gallian militia has faced and thwarted the Empire's defenses at Vassal Bridge. They march now to the capital to liberate it from occupation. All right! That's my bro, Welkin! <laughs> Leon is <laughs> so over the top. Huh. Reckon I did a fair job whipping those kids into shape. Indeed you did, maggots. I should probably go back to the headquarters and just check to see if there's weapons and stuff. Citizens of Galia, keep 
your faith alive. Turn and face the threat ahead and fight! Go, Relkies, go! Hmm. We're all cheering for you. Now make us proud. <laughs> <laughs> Belgian, if you're watching up there, your son could probably use a little help. And I'm thinking about it. Welkin's a good name. It's a good name. So be it. If I have a son. We shall fight them off ourselves. We'll fight for it. Quickly, to the Marmota. Yes, sir. Well, at least the uh, <laughs> princess seems out of Last it. Last time, their war witch had us on the defensive. But now we possess a lance of our own. Let us settle this now for all time. Your grace, may the Valkyra protect you. Leave the defense of Castle Randgrees to me. Do we look the fool that might trust a dog with so little loyalty to his master as you? Put this man to death by firing squad. The Galia of tomorrow has no place for him. Damn! Mm -hmm. Maximilian, we had agreed. We had an understanding. All right, come along. Stop this! Desisted ones, who are you to touch me? <laughs> Cordial's like, oh shit. Welkin, you are our final hope. Please, I beg of you, make victory yours. We're going to be working on it. that in the first place. That thing is huge. Jesus. Alright, well, let's keep going. The battle golf. Jesus. Marmota sighted ahead, sir. Range, 4,000 meters. What the? What's that big pointy thing on top? I've seen that. It's just like the Valkyrian Lance, the one that Alicia carried. Look out, Sevens! Clear the Marmota's forward path! Move it! The Galleon militias fanned out ahead of us in a line, sir. Range, 4,000 meters. They say that in antiquity, the Valkyra called upon Valkov's light to crush and subjugate the entire Darkson tribe. The greatest weapon of all time. Fashioned into something as pedestrian as a castle tower. How could they have known? And now it awakens. Shouldered by the Marmota we have engineered to bear it. A leviathan upon the land. Now, know the futility of your struggles. Bow before the terrible light that once scorched the earth. Has fired an unidentified beam of light. Squads four and five have been wiped out. Hot damn. If we'd been one step slower, we'd be a big pile of dust by now. Stay clear of the front of that thing. Move around to its side. Holy shit. <laughs> Dare you face us yet after that display? We wield power enough to bring any foe to his knees. This 
is the future face of warfare. To impress the magnitude of our power upon the world, you shall all die gruesomely. Now, cross us if you dare. Our history of unrivaled glory begins here! This guy's a douche. Alright, and next page. Alrighty, well, um... <clears throat> We're at that moment, eh? Uh... <sighs> Fuck it, let's go for it. All right, we're going to do Marmota's End, and I would just like to save before we go ahead and do that, uh, because who knows how it's going to go and how many times I end up having to do it and all that goodness. Goodness gracious. All right, let's go ahead and do it. Just stop dilly-dallying, because you know, it's what you're doing, Here are Carlos. the details on this operation. Oh, yeah. You Okay. All right, so your squad thankfully managed to avoid the blast, and it's currently stationed at the Marmota's side. Uh, you may not be so lucky next time. This may be our only chance to destroy that beast. It's now or never. Your target is the area along the Dreadnought side that the Valkyria's previously damaged. The opposition consists of cannon, uh, cannons mounted on the ship's side and the endless waves of troop from the front hatch. Fantastic. Um, station teams at the Dreadnought's front and side, which will work in tandem to stop the enemy. The ultimate objective here is to destroy that giant lance. That set is protected by a shell of light. Nothing that we've thrown at, uh, at it so far has made so much as a dent. Uh, begin by hammering that damaged plating. We'll need a point of entry before we can do anything else. Uh, I think it's safe to say you'll face a battle unlike any fought since the dawn of war. I'll trust your judgment out there. Oh, don't trust my judgment, damn it. It's not good. It's just not good. All right, so the first battle didn't go so hot. Um, it kind of just is what it is, I suppose. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to just reposition people a little bit. Um, I just want to get our, our CP holders, more or less, to, uh, to come up here. Uh, let's get Lynn right there. I'm going to take Jan up here. We're going to get Largo in as well right there. Uh, so we have Rosie, Lynn, Mark, and Jane, and Alicia's in there. And I want to get Oscar in as well. Let's go put him in the back. And maybe even just for safety purposes, let's get Jane. Ugh, she's a shark trooper. And what the hell, Ika? Ugh, uh, ugh, ugh. This is a this is a tough call. Um, just from the way it is, I'm gonna probably take those four uh, up at the top left there. And do that. Let's go ahead and deploy it. Our and, reclaiming uh, the capital we'll hinges on this. Concentrate your fire on that dreadnought and destroy it. It's going to be difficult. I think a lot of this is going to re rely on luck, so I'm going to have to save once we Our get in there. Our target is the Marmota. I guess Sink is we're going to reload all costs. a lot. Squad seven, move out. I got to admit, it's a frustrating mission. I've already. Um, I haven't lost a couple times, but I, I might as well have lost. <laughs> to, to put it kind of plainly. Here we are, actually squaring off against the Marmota. Indeed. Yeah, this will really be the final battle. Lieutenant Gunther, are you all right? Where did you? How did you even get here, Princess Cordelia? What are you doing here, Your Highness? He was like, get the hell out of I here! I know Go I may home. just be in the way. But I wish to be of assistance, however I am able. I wish to fight as well. Allow me to stand in defense of my homeland. I understand. We'd be honored to have your help in the rear guard. <laughs> He's like, get the Here's fuck the out. Here's the plan. Start by focusing our fire on the hole Alicia's lance made. 
The dreadnought side is lined with cannons, though, so you'll need to be careful. Alrighty. Roger. Also, tanks can use the depression in front of the Marmota to fire upward. It really kind of holds right. your hand on this one. We've come through a lot of tight spots, Sevens. Believe in yourselves. I know we can do this. Squad Seven, move out! Like, half this mission is holding your hand. Uh, it's constantly telling you where to go, where to attack. Uh, like, you know, it's telling us to attack this hole that's right there. Uh, the one thing I need to do is save it, though. Um, just because I have reloaded a couple times, and there's a, there's a lot to get through. Holy shit, two hours passed between that. Did something wrong. <laughs> Alright, we're going to start out you with Jan. Got it, hon. And, um... As you can see, the Gatling turrets don't really do a whole lot. <clears throat> yeah. To her, at least. Or him. Or whatever. I can't fucking tell anymore. <clears throat> Does it even matter? I don't think it matters, really. We've blown open the damaged area on the Marmota's side. Yes. Yes. Hand holding. The plating this on is that the spot was vulnerable after all. Sir, part of the side plating damaged in that explosion appears usable as a foothold. As a foothold. You're Too right. Many times. I'm sorry, guys. I gotta skip through this. I just got to, for my own sanity. All right, and then there's an asshole up, up here, so. Come out and fight like a man, honey. Fucking hitting the wrong damn buttons. All right, uh, so the next thing that we need to do is uh, basically get Alicia going. I'm a little worried about her. Taking you know, action now. In fact, you know what, let's, um, Go ahead and be a badass with Lynn. All units. Yeah, I get it. Huh. There we go. You're doing well. Just keep it up. This will kind of pave the way for um, for Reverse Alicia. The enemy's attention. This should okay. be enough for her. The fact that resist crossfire is just refusing to go off is is frustrating. Seventy-eight. What if I did that? It would be six if I could hit him in the head. Which I don't think I can. Squad seven, all our hopes are in your hands now. Ready and waiting for your command. Enemy sighted! Ooh! That was gonna hurt. Hmm. Who are these guys? Alright, so that's that. Enemy sighted! Try not to leave yourself open. And these are going to be our next targets. Uh, essentially, I tried to do this in one from here, right? I didn't even have Lynn. Didn't have Lynn at all. Um, maybe now that I have her. Oh, I don't know anymore. I honestly don't know anymore. Do we diverge? Do we diverge from the plan? And try a half-witted scheme? I mean, we would basically have three turns to do what I think I need to do. And if it doesn't work, maybe next turn we could get it going? You know what? Let's, let's go ahead and we'll save it. Okay, so uh, things went... Very poorly. I didn't kind of realize what was going to happen when we went around the turn. Basically, the name of the game at this point is keep the tank safe. This uh, can't and, be good. and we will do that. We will most definitely do that. Yeah. Uh, but we're going to have to do a couple things first. 
Nice work. Keep taking them down. Report. What are the so we're gonna want to get there? Alicia uh, to kind of a safe, safe space over here. Uh, and I might have actually done some things that I didn't need to do. This Steal. can't be good. Yeah, Alicia should be able to take them both out, right? And get back. Go. Okay. So I think now that we've done that, we're we're pretty a-okay. Uh, and I don't think there's anyone over on the other side. Look, the light surrounding that giant lance is gone. It looks like destroying the drive system powering the propellers has paid off. Good. If we can just destroy that lance, the Marmota will be defanged. Listen up, Sevens. Your orders are to direct all attacks at that lance's tip. You're ready. Tanks, use the incline at the Marmota's front. Ground units, aim high and let fly. Hmm. All right. You have to so stop with the Marmota. her, at this point... Uh, I kind of feel like we're going to need to use her one more time. We have five moves left. This can't be good. Actually, it's not good now that I look at your movement. It's very not good. Because <laughs> you're going to die. Pretty much. Good. That makes things a bit easier. Let's hope. Under there, she is reasonably safe, but I doubt it. Uh, the next thing that we need to do is get I'll do my very best. Lynn going. And uh, she's not necessarily in a bad spot. We get six on him. 14 to the head? I don't think so. Here goes. There we go. Come on. Oh. Thank you. Awaiting orders. So that worry is over. You're doing well. Just keep it up. And I want to have Lynn uh, Medic. up here Medic. so that she's able to watch that Lancer. That's really my biggest fear at this point. Now, the Edelweiss um, may or may not have to move. But essentially, I feel a lot safer if I move it. Here we go. I'll feel a whole hell of a lot safer. So we can go ahead and actually try and do that. Uh, we know it won't kill him. Even in the head, we don't know how much that would be. It'd be one Ragnite round on the head, two in the body. I feel like this is going to be better, though, just from an assault perspective. There we go. See, we got everyone, except for the Lancer. I might not even have had to use that move with Lynn, but I wanted to get her going. And essentially, the move here is just get that radiator away. Just relax and get it done. Provide the squad some cover fire. I will take all of the frontal hits that I that I need to essentially. Oh. And just hopefully those those guys right there can't really do much. Um let's see. And we might as well I'll do my best. Have Oscar not die. All right. Yes. And can you go back and Enemy just? Unit Thank you. All right. So that's our first turn. And now we see what happens. All right. So we pretty much expected that. 
Granted, I probably should have killed the other one now that I think about it. The other Lancer was kind of covered. Ah, oh, perfect. That worked out swimmingly. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Damage minimal. Fair enough, but you only have one left. Oh, thank goodness. I mean, you missed, but you also took out his cover, so that's kind of not good. Ah! Ah, it's only Oscar. Help. I mean, Oscar got wrecked. Alrighty. Well, I think that kind of solved our problems. Oh, so it's about to go. Alrighty. Oh, I'm happy. We can definitely do it in two. Is two just going to still give us an A? Okay. Let's go ahead because I think things went uh, decently well. And we're going to go ahead and uh, save it. Okay, so I got a bit crazy with the orders last time, and I just issued a bunch, and um, only one of them actually ended up helping. So let's go back down to penetration. We're going to give that to Lin, and this then we're going to have a heyday. Aim for where their protection is weakest. And essentially, we're just going to go attack it with a room. I'll do my very best. Um, originally, I attacked it with Jan, and Jan takes eight turns with uh, penetration. So to put things into perspective, that's why I'm going this route. Um, I suppose there's also an option to use Alicia here, but I think it'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, the other side of me was thinking that I could try and get them to team up, because they'll I'll team up on certain best. things. They won't team up on the Lance. Uh, that happened in one of my uh, attempts already, so I'm not super worried. I'll shoot. Yeah, I think... I mean, that's five turns right there, so I think we'll have one turn to spare, essentially. Taking action now. We could try to uh, to get someone. Um, Oscar. Die on me all the time. Alright, yeah, so. Good. I Ooh. caught my second wind. I really would like hard work if we could get that one going. Taking action now. Anytime now. Let's see. So 74 is four turns. Yeah. So. I mean, I guess technically even after this. It's only two and a half more turns, roughly. So we could. Mm. Taking oh. action now. We don't have that kind of room to spare. Unless we get a hard worker. <laughs> Good. I've caught my second He's getting wind. This is like the your, your HP is full. Your HP is full, Lin. Get me some damn hard working going on here. I'll do my very best. Here goes. All right, let's at least attempt to get Oscar. I don't mind a little overtime. I don't think we lose him since Squad the enemy seven. didn't Go. get him. Right, we won't lose him. Whatever. It's only Oscar. I'm just replace him with Marina. The meal might not be happy, but not my problem. Enemy Dreadnought destroyed. Repeat, enemy Dreadnought destroyed. Alrighty. So it took a hell of a lot of time to destroy that, regardless of what we did. That is a significantly tough battle. Now, if you're um, all leveled up and all that stuff, and, you know, New Game Plus or whatever, I saw someone beat that on the first turn um, with the Lancers taking the Lance out in four turns. So, I mean, there's options there. This was... This was a little bit of a dirty way to do it. Um, and we, we probably could have done a little bit better if we gotten more Lancers up there and all that crap. But eh, I'm not worried about it. 
we done did well. So we can go to the audience hall a bit. We'll watch this little last cutscene and then we'll uh we'll end it. Okay. Let's find the engine and kill it. That would be most inconvenient. For you, That's definitely. Million. Show yourself! What is this witchcraft? Dude, he's like... The finest engineers of the Empire shed both out. blood and tears to forge this Valkyrian shield and spear. But like, As pain. you will observe, their Not powers the exceed one. even the originals. Stop this! Haven't enough men died? Why are you doing this? Why we fight for our dream? Do you not think that reason enough? So many have died for less. Besides, we must. Rightful vengeance must be meted out. What is this? Vengeance for we what, though? We were born an imperial prince. But our mother was of low station. For this, our father shunned us. Ooh, he's the got attachment disorder stuff going on. It's a threat to their ascension. They bombed our train when we were but a child. Though we survived by some cruel miracle, the fates were not so kind to Mother and the rest. On that day, we swore an oath. We would take the Empire and the Emperor's throne for our own. Okay, well, Maximilian's got some problems. I don't think anyone is really surprised by that. But anyways, guys, we're going to end the episode here. I hope that you've enjoyed it. It has been a one hour and 15 minutes of craziness. Uh, so that puts that into perspective for you. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Otherwise, hope you have a great day, great night, whatever it is to you. And I'll see you back here next time for some more Valkyrie Chronicles.